you know, one, one of the things that, that, that uh, you, you've highlighted is just the immense amount of digital data that's available, um, uh, surely at GEO and in India. And this is, leads, to, leads to one of the things that I want to announce uh, with you. Uh, as you. As you know, in order to lead in artificial intelligence, you need to have uh, AI model technology that uh, India has. You need to have data, massive quantities of data. And using a, uh, the last thing you need is uh, AI infrastructure. And uh, uh, we're, we're announcing that, that uh, Reliance and NVIDIA are partnering uh, to build AI infrastructure here in India. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, and then, and then, and then the, the thing that I will say is that in order ultimately to create that into a flywheel is one of the great advantages that India has, which is a very large population of users. And, and so now you, you have the fundamental ingredients, uh, AI data and AI infrastructure, uh, and you have a large population of users that ultimately creates your AI flywheel. The thing that, that I really love and um, uh, when I met Modi ji, the first time he asked me to meet his cabinet uh, was to, this, this has got to be about six years ago, he asked me to address his cabinet about artificial intelligence. And I was so surprised it was the, literally the first time any government leader, uh, any national leaders asked me to address uh, his cabinet on um, uh, this particular topic. It was long before anybody was talking about artificial intelligence. And my last visit with him, he said, he said this, and it was really quite profound. He said, I, I was explaining to him uh, the concept of uh, AI infrastructure and why it's essential for every nation to have their own AI infrastructure, like their own communication, their internet infrastructure, their roads, uh, elect energy, of course, and of course, intelligence should be part of your infrastructure, and the manufacturing of intelligence should be part of your infrastructure. And, and he said this, he said, he said it makes completely, complete sense that India should manufacture its own AI, manufacture your own AI. You should not outsource, you should not export data to import intelligence. That India should not export data to import intelligence. And he said... Absolutely. And, and Mo Modiji said, it's like India should not just export flour to import bread. We should add value to the data ourselves. And, and, uh, and the partnership uh, that we have is to start that journey, to build the underlying infrastructure so that India could have your own infrastructure. You surely have your own computer science expertise. And you also have your data. You have a giant population of users uh, to, to drive that flywheel. And then one, one more comment. Uh, this is the thing that, that, that he, was, he was most inspired by uh, six years ago. He said, he said that artificial intelligence has the ability to elevate um, the entire population of India. And the reason for that, I was talking earlier to him about the fact that there are so few people in the world who knows how to program a computer. Programming is not easy. Uh, here uh, in India, it's the largest population of any pro of programmers in the world. However, still programming is not easy. Most people don't know how to program Python or C++ or you know, Pascal or Fortran but, or Java, but everyone knows how to program an intelligence. And so the ability to program computers is available to a small population, but the ability to program AI is something that everyone can do. And if, if AI could be put into the hands of every citizen, it would elevate and put into the hands of everyone this incredible capability you and I get the benefit from called computers. And this computer could now benefit everybody in society. And, and that, he, he explained that back to me. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think that that is why I started by saying that we are very fortunate to have a visionary leader yeah. who believes not only in vision but in execution. Yeah. And where I, <laughs> Jensen, let me 
tell you my own uh, experience uh, in India. First, right, as our Prime Minister has said that this is a new aspirational India. What we have today is we are among the only country in the world where the average age of 1.4 billion Indians is below 35. So what is driving our economy is not only new technologies like AI, but also aspirations. And I believe that uh, you know the Prime Minister, and I believe that his leadership in terms of converting India to a premier digital society has been vital and continues to drive activity at the ground level. So it's demography, it's leadership. The third factor is that we as Indians have the raw talent. You talked about converting 200,000 people into this, but I believe there are millions, right? If we now see India has become home, right, among all the companies across the world, we are our fastest in growing industry is global competency centers. So we do space research in India, we do pharmaceutical research in India. I'm sure that uh, quantum, you are thinking computing. of building chips yep. in India. That's right. We are in our own energy industry, we do bioenergy industry, mm -hmm. all the energy majors, Shell, BP, right? actually do their innovation in India. Mm -hmm. So India is fast becoming an innovation hub for the world in terms of where we are and not the manufacturing hub. And, and so you know, we have, we have over 10,000 engineers here so in you, India ourselves. So that's yeah. like our challenge. What we also have is we also have what I call the necessary infrastructure, and we've been fortunate that we have the connectivity infrastructure, which I, is equivalent to the roads. So if you don't have roads, you will not reach your destination. So I believe that today, apart from the US and China, right, India has the best digital connectivity infrastructure, 4G, 5G, and broadband in yeah. the world. Yeah. You know, while I was listening to you, you talked about NVIDIA being an exotic place. And I was thinking that when you were in India, I've got to give you my version of what uh, NVIDIA means to me. And I was just thinking about it backstage. Uh, there's a very important word link, which is called Vidya, V-I-D-Y-A, right? And in, in Indian, in Hindi, as we are all determined to make the best LLM in Hindi, right? In Hindi, Vidya means knowledge. I knew I named the company right. I knew it. So everybody even, said, "Nvidia, what a horrible name! You will never make it." So what it means? I knew it. I stuck yeah. with it. So you you can take credit for this interpretation. Gosh, no problem. <laughs> right? So it still is. Gosh, getting, I'm smart. It, it, it gets better, uh, Jensen. So if we think about Vidya, Vidya is uh, Saraswati, and Saraswati is our goddess of knowledge. So when you actually devote yourself sincerely to the goddess of knowledge and you acquire knowledge, then in our tradition, the goddess of prosperity, which is Lakshmi, follows. So what you are doing... 32 is, years ago, I knew this. So and now the story so of NVIDIA has been revealed to all of you. <laughs> so, so our first principles right, are what you are driving Thank you. is 
the knowledge revolution converting into the international re into what i call the intelligence revolution and that drives prosperity across the world for all, all the 8 billion people and i think that what we are at the doorsteps of is the new intelligence age and on behalf of everybody i am very proud to have you as my friend and welcome to india and thank you for actually contributing to the world to bring the intelligence age in our lifetime and hopefully together with everybody this can drive to more prosperity for all the 8 billion people in the world and particularly the 1 and 1/2 billion people in india Mukesh it is it is such an honor and such a great privilege and an incredible joy to be able to contribute in this way this is an extraordinary opportunity for india um to have precisely the conditions to have such a large population and large industry of computer scientists at a time when this industry the computing industry is going to become the intelligence industry leveraging on everything that you have leveraging on everything that you know and your indigenous advantage enormous amounts of data a large population of consumers to drive that flywheel of intelligence to data data to intelligence intelligence to data and have the national will to go do something about it this is such an extraordinary time and i am honored and privileged to be partnered with you to do this and let's let's uh let's make it a promise today that we will work together so that india could take advantage of the intelligence revolution that's ahead of us okay thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank so you. very much thank you ladies and gentlemen mukesh ambani thank you thank you thank you and jensen my friend right you are here only a few days uh, before diwali diwali is our new year it is where we worship the goddess of prosperity so on behalf of uh, oh all God. of us we wish you thank you a very very prosperous new year and to all of you a happy diwali and a happy new happy year. diwali everyone thank you Thank you my friend thank you